Welcome to rivalcool.com. In this video, I will explain you about how to create iteration in Agile Center or in Rally. So, before moving further, let's understand today's agenda. Then, we'll discuss about the actual content and then with practical example. So, here we'll discuss about what is iteration, how to create an iteration, edit, update, and delete iterations or we can say that managing an iteration how to cascade iteration and bulk updating iteration so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates let's begin with actual content of iteration so first of all what is iteration an iteration is a single complete development time box typically two or four weeks in length an iteration produces intermediate deployable code that has been discussed, designed, implemented, and tested. Each iteration is a subset of final product under development and builds on the functionality of the prior iteration. A scrum master, product owner, and other organizers create iterations and modify their fields. Generally, teams create the next series of future iteration to represent the team cadence and serve as a placeholders and discussion about iterations. The iteration planning meeting, the entire team commits to a plan of work to be executed in an upcoming iterations. So let's understand how we'll create an iteration and use that for our requirement. So for creating any specific iteration, we just have to click on plan and then time boxes. Once we'll click on this, we're able to see these are the time boxes are available where we have to select iteration and click on new. Once we'll click on the new, we'll get create with the details. We have to enter these fields like a theme. So this is field. I'm just adding simple data, but as per your need and requirement, you can update the data. Here you can add the notes like what all components to be completed in this iteration and how it is going to proceed. So complete procedure I am mentioning here. Complete procedure. Post entering these details, we need to provide the start date and end dates. So right now I am selecting my start date is in 6 and end date is for 15 days. So as I said, it should be approximately 15 days of time. So 20th is a start and end dates. So right now it's in planning phase. Or uh, let's uh, move the start dates a bit further like 13 or 27. Now you can see status planning phase. You can update according to your status like committed, accepted like this. You can plan the velocity. So you can add the velocity time as well. So once done, just have to click on create. We need to add the iteration detail as well. So this is iteration for March. This is the title name of your iteration. Once done, click on create. Now your iteration is created. But if you want to update your particular iteration, just go to plan time boxes again and select your iteration which you want to update it. Like click on this edit. So whatever fields you want to edit it, you can do that particular or uh, just without selecting this, go on this iteration where you can update the detail as per units like uh, state, plan velocity and estimated velocity to do and the details as well. So by this way, you can add it the detail. But if you want to delete any particular iterations or see the fields, like if you want to see the particular fields, you can select and unselect according to your requirement and your fields will be available in front of you. Now, if you want to delete 
your iterations so then again go to time boxes and from here you select and delete your component so by this way we can delete if you want to bulk delete select this and your data will be bulk deleted means if you want to delete multiple iteration together you can delete it now if you want to add it or uh, add it bulk or add it you can also do that by selecting this you can select the and particular fields if you want to uh, end it change the end it you can do that and it will be updated for all like a uh, 27 so or 31 just like that and once done click on apply your end date will be updated here you can see here so by this way you can perform the bulk operation as well so let's understand what is cascade iteration settings so if you want to cascade projects hierarchy and create multiple iteration at once when we use a project hierarchy we can use the cascade toggle to insert or ensure that iterations are the same of for all the projects this saves time spent on configurations and make it easy to establish shares schedules across build so as you can see here i've created iteration for my main project that is uh, parent project but it got created child project how you can do that so when you will click on create you will find out here the cascade if you disable this it will not create a another iteration for child project it is only creating for the particular project where we have we are creating so by this way it will save our time for creating multiple times in different projects so this is called as cascading effect of any particular iterations so if you want to update multiple iteration together as i said you just have to go to time boxes and from there you have to select your iteration and update your fields as per your needs after clicking on add it so you can update name start date release it and state these all features are available to update it so this is all about how to create an iteration and update the iteration add the cascaded effect as well and if you need if you want to delete the bulk operation as well you can delete from here so by this way we can see that we can cover create iteration manage iteration cascade iteration and bulk update iterations so that's all about iteration in agile central or rally hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates Thank you for watching.